Hi, I'm Candace Price, and I teach at Smith College. I wouldn't say I was always good at math. I always really liked it and enjoyed doing mathematics, but I never thought I was good at it. It was just something you, you sort of did. But if I think back, I probably was pretty good at it. I think I knew when I was an undergrad, after I had taken a pre-calculus um, class, my instructor said, you should be, um, you should major in math. Um, and I thought about why I didn't see myself as a mathematician, um, mostly because I didn't see anyone that looked like me doing mathematics. And so I thought I would like to change that for future people. So if I become a mathematician, then my students can't say that they've never seen a black woman doing mathematics. So I really enjoy doing a lot of math applications. So one application is I study models of protein DNA interactions. So I use topological models um, to show how a protein can change the topology of DNA. Um, I also look at evolutionary success and I use network theory um, to think about how animals who are connected to each other in a community or in a family um, support each other by grooming parasites and so how they fight off parasites by grooming. Um, but any sort of um, mathematical model is really interesting to me. So I do a lot of social justice questions, biology questions, really anything. So I still really struggle with imposter syndrome. I've struggled with it probably the whole time. I've never really seen myself as a mathematician. Um, and I think it goes back to me not seeing anyone that looked like me doing math for so long. Um, but every day, you know, I just sort of have to push those thoughts out of my head and keep working and keep moving forward. Um, but that still is a sort of a constant issue that I think about often. So this may be a little cliche, but my proudest accomplishment is probably receiving my PhD. Um, and that is because my mom told me this story that when she was pregnant with me, she had a dream of someone saying Dr. Price. And so she thought that it was her, like that she was going to get a doctorate, she was going to go to school. And so when I got mine, she said she realized that it was, it was me that she was dreaming about. So I would say early in my career, um, Lori Holcomb, who was my pre-calculus instructor at um, Chico State, really was a big supporter of me. She was the first one to tell me that I should do mathematics, that I was very good at it, and always spoke positively about my mathematical skill. Um, and so she has been, even still, a huge supporter, reaches out to me every holiday to see how I'm doing. Anytime I'm in town, I try to visit her. She even had the opportunity to come to my um, dissertation defense and my graduation. So it was really great to show her that what a positive impact she had on my life. So I guess words of wisdom would be to surround yourself with people who support you and love you and um, understand that you are talented and brilliant and amazing and will will speak you up when you need it and be that for someone else too because this is actually a very hard journey um, and not any of us have done it by ourselves and so even though it looks like people are doing it by themselves or not they're supported and so find that find that community find that support system that will help you do whatever it is that you want to do because you can do it